Hi, I'm Ginger and I live in Las Vegas and I'm going to share with you my Vegas babies. I've been living here in Vegas for um, over 30 years and I am going to pick this big guy up to show him to you. He is a desert tortoise. So this is Charlie. Charlie's not really a lap tortoise but um, he's not a lap tortoise at all. Charlie is um, a desert tortoise. He is a um, Mojave or Sonora desert tortoise. Charlie came to me, Charlie was given to us, uh, me and my son, about 30 years ago. And Charlie, at that time, Charlie was a mature tortoise. And Charlie has been a great addition to our family. So I'm not sure how old Charlie is, it would be However, he old, however old he was when he came to me, plus 30. So we would say Charlie is probably about 50, maybe 50. He could be 60, 70, 80. The regular desert tortoise lives to be about 50 to 80, according to Wikipedia. Um, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a vet, but I have had tortoises most of my life and um, I'm going to be sharing all of my tortoise babies with you. I hope you enjoy them. Um, and I, as I was saying, oh, hold on, let me show you this. Okay, so uh, most stuff we're just going to have fun and I'm going to show you. But Charlie has um, these scoots on the very top of his shell. Um, and they, l they just tell me that he wasn't taken care of properly as a um, baby, as a hatchling. Tortoises have 13 scoots on the top of their shell. Those are those big sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Every turtle, tortoise everywhere will have 13. And they're almost like trees because as you count the lines here, that's how many years old they are. So um, he's, you can't even count because he's so old. So Charlie wants down. Charlie, you can be down. Charlie is an indoor, outdoor tortoise and um, they're vegetarians, they don't bite, but if you're feeding them by hand, it's possible that they might bite your finger accidentally. So be careful with your hand feeding. Um, anyway, I love my tortoises. I hope you enjoy this and that's it for Charlie. Alright, so I'm giving him a little cool down and a little water. I call it watering my tortoise. So I'm watering my tortoise. I use a slow watering can. And he absolutely loves the way the water falls over his head. That's just if I can get at the right spot, just like that. And it just falls over his head. And kind of blinks, blinks. Light to wash his face. watering can, it just kind of comes out slow. It's like a spa time. Okay, and that tells me that he had just about enough. Good job, Charlie. Let's see, clean face? Yes, look at that face.
I hope you enjoyed the Charlie video. Charlie does sleep inside the laundry room, sometimes inside the bathroom. Charlie also has a, um, a burrow in the back there, so he sleeps outside as well sometimes. Uh, most desert tortoises sleep outside. It is illegal to take a desert tortoise out of the wild and bring them into your home, but it is not illegal to have a desert tortoise. It is not illegal to receive one as a pet. But we are their guardians. That is the way it works. We are the guardian of a desert tortoise. We actually um, take care of them as a family member. And there's so many cool things that I want to share with you about desert tortoises, so I will be doing that in future videos. And if you like the video, please subscribe, stay with me, and um, it's fun for me to share all of this with you.